Hello everyone, I'm Rodney from 3GameMan.com and today I'm looking at the GX Gaming SWG 2.1 2000 Thunderclap Base Gaming System. This box does look sweet, it has lots of pictures as well as features and specifications about it. Now let's open it up and see what's inside. It's packaged very well in this environmentally friendly material. They include a user's manual and the product itself is in a plastic bag. Now in fact, this is the subwoofer which is in a plastic bag, but pretty much everything else is in a plastic bag or a styrofoam bag. These are the cables that they include for connecting different devices into it. The main control unit here, the subwoofer and the speakers on the other side. And as well, all of the shiny parts has this protective plastic on it. So it comes in four different pieces, the speakers, the subwoofer, and the main control unit. And all of this gets plugged into the control unit at the back. Setup is super easy. The first thing to do is connect the amplifier into the outlet, then make the appropriate audio connections. Now for the speaker outputs, well, you have three speakers, right? You have the two speakers on the sides and you've got the subwoofer and they are color coded. So left to left, right to right, and sub to sub. Then of course, make the input connection, whatever it is. There's a 3.5 millimeter audio connection as well as two standard RCA connections plus a mic output. Once you've done all that, you can go ahead and turn it on. They include three male to male cables. This is a 3.5 millimeter to standard RCA. This is for a microphone, 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter. And this is an audio 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter. At the front of the amplifier is a volume knob. You've got a bass control here as well. Standby, you can switch to whichever source that you want. Headphones jack, microphone jack, and a line in jack. And at the bottom are four rubber feet. Oh, and look how pretty the volume knob is when it's turned on. Oh, and I should note as well that once you change the source, the LED color changes as well. Now the total output power for this complete system is 45 watts and the frequency response is from 25 to 20,000 hertz. The subwoofer though is 29 watts and each satellite is 8 watts. And by the way, each satellite comes with a 3 inch driver and this is a 6.5 inch driver in the subwoofer. So it should give you some really decent bass. Now this is a pretty compact system overall. The satellites measure in at 12.5 by 15.5 by 9.1 centimeters each. The subwoofer measures in at 25.2 by 23.3 by 23.5 and the amplifier is 5.5 by 17 15.7 by 15.5 centimeters. Now this has a very flashy overall look. Lots of bling bling going on here. So if you like things that are subtle and elegant, this probably wouldn't do it for you. And also they have their logo on pretty much everything here. You know, blue satellites, a blue LED around the volume knob. It's not going to appeal to everyone, but if you like this kind of styling, I think you'll love this. The build quality quality is really good overall. You've got plastic satellites and a wooden and the plastic subwoofer. Oh, and each satellite is labeled, plus you can hang it on the wall if you want to. And on the back of the subwoofer, they have a port to give you deeper bass. I'll increase the volume as well as the bass up and down so you can get a better feel for it when it starts to really kick in here. Notice the LED on the bass? That's pretty neat. Crank it all the way up. Crank all the bass all the way up. Turn a little bit back. You really can't hear much of anything until you get it up around halfway, oddly enough. But then it starts to really, really kick in. And remember, of course, you can connect just about anything into this, whether it be a smartphone like I have now, or audio device, or a computer system. So pretty good overall. The sound quality on this, I mean, it's really to be expected from a pretty affordable 2.1 audio system that has it all. So if you're looking for something that has some style to it, plus it's not going to break the bank and really sounds quite good, this 
just might be it. Overall, this is a great product.